Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the City Skylines Submitted City Traffic Fix and City Fix live stream. In this video, I'm gonna fix someone else's city and its traffic. Our city today was created by Cypher Ocelot. Did I say your name right? I hope I did. The title, ironically, is called Help Biffa. And the description is Springfield by Cypher Ocelot. So Cypher, thank you for uploading your city. I'm looking forward to working on it. I'm not Biffa, but hopefully you will find my tips useful. And hopefully you'll find the video uh, entertaining as well. And that goes for everybody else watching it too. Uh, the city is a small size city. You can see 30,000 on the population. Um, it's losing a lot of money, 41,000 uh, a week. Uh, there is unlimited money turned on and so that's how we're going to solve it i will uh try to get the city profitable as part of the fix I, I think it's better to play with limited money rather than unlimited money i think it makes it obviously more realistic but uh, uh a better challenge title is called springfield i did load up the city and i wanted to see uh what the traffic bottoms out at so uh with no despawning so there's no despawning and this is Ironically, this is not where the traffic bottoms out at. The original load has it, I think, at 11%. And then when you hit play, the traffic flow actually increases to about 17 And so it stays around 17%. So let me hit play just so you can kind of see the traffic. Um, you can see there's this main highway going east to west that gets pretty stuck. There's a little bit of movement happening, but for the most part, it's gridlocked. And then there's gridlock going over into this east central part here and then gridlock kind of going right in here as you enter the west central part so it stays around 17 percent or so so um, that's kind of the city so I'm gonna load up the original save game and then we're gonna fix it from there and then while I do that I'm going to also uh, do a couple of shout outs uh, and thank yous for some new uh, subscribers and some additional support so let me get this original game um, uh, loaded up here. All right, so while I'm doing that, um, we did get a, um, a new subscriber, uh, Carlos Carnero. I hope I said your name right. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the support. So thank you, Carlos, for subscribing. And then uh, a subscriber that we already have, but she is wonderful, and that's Uno. Thank you for rating the channel. You're great. Uh, definitely, if you haven't uh, checked out her channel, please do. Uh, she's really nice and uh, has got a, a nice community going. And then she also hosted. Oh, did that not work? I thought it would show that too. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and so she also hosted. So thank you, Uno, for uh, doing that. Um, all right. Um, I'm having a little bit of an issue with loading up the game. So let me... I think I'm going to have to restart City Skylines. Sorry about that. Let me do that right now. We'll get a little bit back up. So let me load up the game again. And so we're going to start uh, with the original save game. And then uh, I do want to fix the traffic uh, and fix the profitability as well. And then let me show what the original settings are, and then I'll, I'll also update the traffic manager settings. All right, so I, okay, the game is back. Let me make sure everything's good to go. All right. Sorry about the delay here. 
Oh, I guess while I'm doing that, uh, there is a uh, Discord, so there's the link for that. And then if you do want to support me more, uh, here's our merch store, and then there's a way to do uh, donations and tips. Live streams are on YouTube, Twitch, DLive, and Twitter simultaneously. You can watch on whichever one you want. Of course, if you do like the video, smash the like button. You can dislike it if you don't like the video. And then if you want to uh, subscribe or follow, that'd be great too. All right, I think everything should be working fine now. Okay, great. Yep. All right, so here we go. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, excellent. So, uh, w again, we're back in Springfield. Again, population is around 30,000. And so, uh, one of the nice things is Cypher was playing the city with no despawning already. So, good job. You're playing in that of uh, the for hard mode on the traffic. And here's the traffic flow right upon load. Like I said, it was at 11%. Uh, so that's very good. And so uh, first thing is we do want to update the traffic manager settings. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now to make sure that they are okay. And so with traffic manager, um, uh, simulation accuracy is set up to very low. So that's good. Uh, there's no despawning. Uh, en enable advanced vehicle AI was not on, so we do want to turn that on. So you do want to have that set up. So enable advanced vehicle AI, and then automatically add traffic lights if apl applicable. That was checked on. We want that checked off. Checked off. Um, all right. So I think we're good there. And let me get the the city back on the screen here. All right, let's start fixing it. How is the city laid out? First of all, where's the industry? Uh, on the southwest side. Well, I mean, I guess this would be considered the southwest side. That's residential, right? So what do you want to call this? West Central? A little bit on the northwest side. A little bit on the east side. So good job, Cypher. You didn't, you didn't put it all in one spot. So that's good. What's the unemployment rate? Oh my, it is bad. 29%, that's terrible. Now, at this size city, you can't really build the monuments. And so we shouldn't have to worry about the Hadron Collider. But let's just check. What? You built a Hadron Collider. That's causing the unemployment rate. Medical Center, Eden Project, so all these have been built. So. You're not supposed to be able to access those unless you turn on a mod. So um, you obviously use one of the mods to access those. And so they're all here in one place. Eden Project. Hadron Collider. Medical Center. So normally it's not good to build those because they're kind of too powerful and they they I mean the Hadron Collider is just terrible that wrecks your city but the other ones are a little bit too powerful so it I, I think it's better not to build most of those um, so I'm gonna leave all of them on and I want to turn around right there there that's a much better angle for the city isn't it that looks better so um, so all right this is the west side this is the east side okay so that's going to create a lot of tourism here, where all these special buildings are. Um, how do you... There's only one road? Just this one road? This part goes underneath the ground. Where does that go? Oh, it just connects here. One goes to the industry and it kind of comes up here. Why does it have to come up here when there's a road right here for it? Um, okay, so... A lot of tourism, but not a lot of road access. And then we have one highway east and west, one highway north and south. And you got a stack interchange, so that's good. Um, and then I see over here Elk Hills. 
where your industry is. It's got dedicated oil, so that actually needs to be removed. You want to have generic industry. Let's take a look at import-export to confirm. Uh, importing a little bit of oil, importing the goods. And so you don't need to really be importing the oil once we remove that dedicated industry. And it's exporting a lot of that oil too. So that's going to cause some issues with traffic. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. That's not the way to do it. Right here. <laughs> um, so we want generic industry. That way goods are made in the city. That will help with the traffic. Um, all right, let's get to work. How do you get into the city from the highway? One way on the east side. This is not really formal, it looks like. One way out, another way out, and another way into the industry, but that's it. Uh, a little bit of a makeshift spot right there. You got a clover leaf. You don't need that because it's just one highway. And you got one of these. So first thing, and that's where a lot of the traffic is, to get into the city. Getting into the city, getting into the city, getting into the city is what's causing a lot of traffic from the east to west. So we're going to start out with updating this entire highway section and making more connections to get into the city. A little bit of a bridge right there, isn't there? So we'll go that far. So I'm going to delete this entire highway piece, and we're going to redo that to create better access. And I'm going to keep on going further, but let's start out with... Just this part, right here, first. So it'd be nice to have a connection right here. These two intersections are too close together. Um, let's see what we got. See what we can do. Okay. People drive on the right side of the road. Got it. Um, I wanted to see which one I wanted to use. The bottom one or the top uh, highway for alignment. We'll do this. Go. Cool. There we go. Excellent, and so that can, so we either want to put another one right here, that's too close, so we'll put it kind of in the middle. Yeah, in the middle of these two, I think that'll be good. What you got going over here, you got Paradox Plaza. So we'll put it like right around here or so. Okay, so let's put another one here. And then we want to put another one, I think, right over here or so. And so the way to fix the city is to use the diffuse and disperse strategy. How close the... Um, I think that's good. There we go. And so there was really two ways to get into the city. Now there's going to be uh, from the east-west highway. So now there's going to be um, three, and I'm going to do a fourth. Um, let's uh, delete you. There. Okay. And we'll 
do another one right here for the industry. And so rather than these makeshift kind of manually done intersections, you want to do a more proper full intersection that helps with the traffic flow. So it would be nice to put it like right around here or something like that. Give it a little bit of room too. Um, That'll be good. And we'll make the a little bit of a curve here. There we go. Nice, excellent. And then same thing on this side. That whole thing is elevated. Oh God, that's terrible, isn't it? Oh well, <laughs> for sake of time, I should have come from the other uh, direction right there. Yeah, I should have done that. That's way better. I will do a little bit of a better job of that. Right to there? Yeah, okay. There. Okay, good. Okay, so instead of three ways or two proper ways to get in, now there's going to be four. That'll make a big difference on the traffic right there. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to implement some frontage roads. I use nothing but vanilla roads except for the frontage roads. And when I'm doing city fixes, I'll, or a vanilla plus, uh, I'll use one vanilla plus road for the frontage roads. And then for city fixes, I will do, um, come on, I will do um, a skinny four lane road. There you go. That looks great. We have room here, I think so. Okay, that's good. And then here is the off ramp, here is the on ramp. And then these frontage roads can hook right up. Excellent. And then we've got the off ramp. What? Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, our on ramp, and this is the on ramp, this is the off ramp. So that's good. This was the original way in. We're going to move it out a little bit. This was one way to get in. Fix that up a little bit. There we go. And I think there's so much traffic here, I think that roundabout was having a hard time handling it. Because it 
so small. I didn't mean to destroy that road. There we go. Wait, what is this? This is a six lane road with a median. All right, well, I'll put in a six lane vanilla then there to keep it the same capacity. And we'll bring this down. There we go. And then I, I kind of messed up the uh, the zoning when I destroyed it, didn't I? What are these? These are office, 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 office. Okay. Let me uh, put the uh, office stuff back there. Great. Great. What is this building? Fire Department 17. Hmm, okay, cool. Alright, so those are all hooked up. Uh, and then this. Wow! Did you make this cipher? That's something else. And what is... Is this a cemetery? So this was made with... Um, uh, either the move it mod or uh, road anarchy because it's th this roundabout is being placed right here and It looks like it was using roundabout builder and then the road wasn't cleared up afterwards So I mean if you do want to do that I mean I guess you could keep it like this But you probably want to clear up the road and if you do want it to glitch out like that It's better to just stick with the vanilla roads um, And so uh, you know, obviously this is not working. So we'll... We're going to create actually just a straight up simple intersection. And you'll see that it'll actually handle it much better. Um, rather than having to do something so fancy, um, maybe, oh, well, this is another six lane one. Maybe a roundabout will be needed, but most of the time you only need roundabouts in certain circumstances, not really in all. And normally if you just do the layout. You know, set up the layout properly and uh, uh, get the dedicated turning lanes set up. Um, you don't need to really do a roundabout, but if that still doesn't fix it, then, you know, putting a roundabout there and setting it up properly will help. All right, so... There we go. And it probably would be good to make this go straight through. Now these people can walk right over here, but these highway intersections, or they can just drive over there, but these highway intersections have integrated paths, so that will reduce some of the traffic too, because then they can just walk over. Um, I think that's good. That covers that entire east-west highway. I haven't set up the roundabouts yet. Um, there was, n there's no traffic over here, so I'll leave those as they are. And then what about this heavy, 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 uh, tourist place? Everybody wants to take a right, so you do that. I think we're just going to have to hit play and let the cars and everything register. <laughs> I think this is a good spot, right? Let's go for it. All right, again, of course, no despawning, right? And we're at 11. Let's go. Oh, man, it's going to be a total mess. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Right turn only. 
left turn only, right turn only, dedicated turning lanes, left turn only. Sorry about rotating the camera so much, right turn only. Why are you guys stopping here? That's not a real intersection. You can block the box. Right turn only. Oh, wow. Right turn only. Look at all these people are already starting to walk. Where are you dudes coming from? Hey. Hey. Winston. Where do you live, man? He lives here. How did you get all the way over here so fast? These guys. These Sims, they walk super fast. And he's, he's about to go shopping. Look at that. All the way over here. He's going to go shopping all the way over here. He would have gotten on the, in a car if it, uh, until, we, until I just created that. Where's it at again? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's right here. That's awesome. And that's one of the reasons why I use those intersections, because it helps reduce traffic, because people do walk. All right. Let me come back over here and see what's going on. I, I need to find out where everybody is going. So where are you guys going? Some people are going straight. Some people are going right. Nobody's in the right lane. Nobody's in the right lane. So everybody's going straight. I mean, okay, I'll do that. Okay. Whoa, whoa, oh my god. Oh, and there's an airport here too. <laughs> That's insane. TS Photography, what is up? Hello. Thank you for following. You are too kind. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, let me, uh, let me, let me do this really quick here. Oh, I was hoping I could, it would show up on the screen. Oh, well, I'll, I'll do it next time, though. Thank you, thank you. Um, all right, so... Make this a left turn only. Oh, thank you so much! All right, so everybody's in one lane right here because this road goes both ways. So some dedicated turning lanes to help. All right, I think that is good initially. Wow, 42. Okay, I'm going to pause it because now the next big thing is, um, oh, you're in Tokyo? Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, good morning to you. That's great. Thank you for, thank you for watching from Tokyo. So the next thing is, you know, there's this, this is a huge tourist area in this center, center west part of the city. And there's only one way to get here. So you definitely need more access. And so that's what I want to create. And instead of this underground road, that can just be above ground. So I want to make that change right now
Okay. And that can just be above ground. It doesn't have to go into a tunnel. It can just come right here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It is a six lane, so I'll, I'll keep it at six. Um, yeah, I've got an idea. There's one way. There's another way. Um, I wish there was, I wish there was another way to get over here. Um... Maybe we can just leave that for the time being. And then it'll be nice to bring in something from over here, too. And then this is a garage, so let me just move that temporarily. So I can build a road. There we go. There we go. And then I can I can move this back. And then oh, it'd be nice for this to come out a little bit. Can this garage be moved onto this side? No. What are these things? This is just office space? Um, I'm going to move, what the, it's a little bit, I want to move them a little bit so I can, um, get some space here. Shoot. Well, that's a little bit on the frustrating side. Oh, I think that may be enough. Move. Why? Why does it say it's still occupied? What is over here? There's nothing over here. Weird. I don't get it. All right. That's good. And I don't think we need a six lane road. Excellent. Perfect. So now there is one, two, three, four more ways, or three, because th there was another way underground. So there's three more ways to get here. So that should really help with the traffic. And let's just continue to hit play and let it run. Everybody's in that lane. Make it left turn only so the people that want to go straight can. All right. Um, we'll let that run for a little bit. Let's take a look. You got way more electricity production than you need. And that is because you've got something going on, right? One of the... Uh, the fusion power plant. Yeah, so you don't really need any of the other electrical stuff. So what we will do is we will just reduce the budget slightly. I'll keep it somewhat reasonable just for re realism. All right, what about water? You got way too much water. Pumping is 1.1 million. 
Drainage is 520,000. You only need 270. So let's reduce this. You got a lot of garbage. 150% on the budget. Um, well, you didn't put it all in one spot, so that's really good of you. You have more than what you need. I assume that you probably raised it up because people were complaining that garbage wasn't being picked up. But that has to do with the fact that the garbage trucks couldn't get there because of um, traffic. Because of traffic. Holy moly. Holy. It's because the fire trucks couldn't get there because of traffic. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty wild, isn't it? Alright, we'll just let that run for a little bit. Alright, so people are able to get out now. And they just can't get in. Oh, yeah, that's why. Um, there. Should be helpful. And then right turn only. Dedicated turning lanes. Oh. There. There we go. Some dedicated turning lanes to help. Yeah, what about... Oh, is there a light here? Ah! Turn that off. Oh, there's a light here, too. Turn that off. to go straight. A lot of people want to take a left here, though, don't they? And there's a lot of people walking, so you know we actually need paths. We need walking paths. What is this thing? Silver Wind? Is this like a movie theater or something? Casino? <laughs> neat, man. <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You got some cool stuff in your city. Like, one, I kind of like the layout. I think it's just unique. You know, you got like a lot of residential, commercial office right there. And then you've got this huge tourist district in the center. And you got a couple of homes out here. And like they've got like this little water, little river pathway. It just looks kind of cool. And then you've got these little other things to keep it from flooding. You know, same over here. Got these little things to keep from the water from flooding. And it just looks nice. You got a dam. So I, I, I think the, the city is really nicely done. I know that there's some mass transit. We'll work on that momentarily. Where are we at? We're done. Time? 39 minutes. So uh, let's take a look at your mass transit really quick. You got buses. I saw that. Okay. You got one metro line. You got 470 people waiting, so that means there's not enough vehicles. There. Is it, uh... It's a loop. Oh, you didn't make it go to the industry area? You hadn't gotten around to it? It, it goes one direction, counterclockwise. So, it'd be good for you to have another one. Um... If you're going to do a loop, do uh, do a clockwise as well. So I'll just create that for you here. Bam. Bam. Here we go. So this is the one that's counterclockwise. There we go. And it probably will need the same amount of vehicles, so we'll do seven. 
Okay. Eighty-six percent. Look at that. Oh, we're not profitable yet. Hold on. Uh, what's your tax rate? It's a little bit low. Okay. Policies. Free public transport. We can't afford that. Anything else? Oh, tax relief? I'll leave those since I just raised taxes. And any other districts besides that oil district that I just changed? Nope. Really close. Negative 12,000. Electricity, we got plenty. Oh, sewage draining capacity is not enough. So let me raise that up. And then it's the pumping capacity that's too high. And so are all your pumps right here? Destroyed one of them. All right. And we turned to profit. I think that's good. 85%. I'll pause it at if it hits 86. Oh, I missed it. I was looking... Look at that. Remember how busy this was? Ah. So, pause. There's a cargo train terminal. This isn't the wrong place of the city. This is a small amount of industry. It should be placed over here with the majority of the industry, not over here. And then there's no queue. And I saw some traffic over here, didn't I? Is there a light? Is that why? Yeah. I think that's great. Yeah, like right here. There's a lot of people walking. Ah, it's a 86. I'm pausing it, calling it right there. Um, I, th I think that's great. <laughs> where you're, where are you at on your? Uh, yeah, there's a lot more people starting to use it. It's gonna take some time. Yeah, the amount of people waiting has dropped. Okay, I think that's good. We can do a second city. So, uh, let's let's summarize what we did, and then I'll load up the other city here. Uh, first of all, the traffic was at 11%, no despawning, and when I actually ran it for a little bit, it actually was at 17. But there's no despawning, and it's at 86. The pop uh, here, 86, 86. The population is the same; it's actually slightly higher. The city was losing 41,000. It's a week. It's making 8,000 a week. And so, what did we do? Uh, there was really only two main ways to get into the city from the east-west highway call it two and a half because there was a couple other things right here those were removed and there was one two three four ways to get into the city with frontage roads for expansion then there was a huge convoluted intersection right here just cleaned it up made it regular um and then uh, removing some lights and doing dedicated turning lanes dedicated turning lanes and then there was um, this tourist area had 
one way to get in and another way to get in and so we added one two three using the diffuse and disperse strategy to fix it up and so that took care of the traffic some fine tuning on the mass transit and then some fine tuning on the budget and the taxes and the cities fixed uh, in less than 45 minutes so we can go ahead and work on a second city uh, so cypher thank you for letting me work on the city and um, uh, yeah well, hopefully th this was entertaining and educational and 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 fun for everybody else so I'm gonna load up a, a second city and we'll do another we'll do another fix here all right let me get that next one going here Uh, the next city, I think, is about the same size. And I did run it for a little bit so you can see where the traffic bottoms out at. While I'm waiting on this, if you do like the video, smash that like button. All right, so let me get the next one going. Um... This one also has unlimited money. Uh, like I said, I I, know, I think it's better to play with limited money, but we're going to play it the way that the original game was set up. Um, and let me tell you the name of this one. Um, Okay, um, let me put this up on the screen here. There you go. So here's the city. Um, uh, it, it's called uh, Mech in Bremen. 26,000 on the population. It's losing a lot of money. Uh, not a lot, but, you know, a modest amount, 16,000 a week. And this was created by uh, Biggie Bagel. Biggie Bagel, thank you for uploading your city, Biggie. Uh, hopefully this will be an uh, entertaining fix for you. And uh, the title is uh, Mech in Bremen. Sam Burr, please, traffic help. <laughs> I love it. Hey, I'm not Sam Burr, but I, I hope you enjoy the fix. Uh, and the description is uh, Mech in Bremen by Biggie, Babel, Biggie Bagel, Sam Burr traffic. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to working on this. Um, again... Uh, I ran it with no despawning, and this is where the traffic bottomed out at. Ooh, ooh, it's rough. 22%. So you can kind of see a little bit of the layout of the city. And then I'll, I'll do this, and I'll hit play. Most of the traffic is over here on this west side. Yeah, it doesn't even move, does it? <laughs> Uh, it just went down to 21. I thought it bottomed out around right around here. Let's put it on fast forward. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's still going down, so I'm just going to let it run for a little bit. And while we're doing that, we can kind of take a look. So you got a highway that comes in from the east side... And then it actually terminates into a roundabout. 
And so there's no highway coming over here on the south side of the city. And then there's another highway on this north side, and it terminates into a roundabout. So, I mean, those that highway could just be connected to help create, uh, you know, traffic all the way through. So it looks like it's coming back up. No? Never mind. There's good demand in the city. What's your unemployment rate? 3%. Great job. That's, that's as low as it gets, is 3%. I'm just going to keep on letting it run. I want to know where the traffic bottoms out at. How's the uh, layout? Where's the industry? There's one industry. It's over here. It's not a big city, but oh my god! Holy moly. All the trash is right next to the industry along with all the dead people pick up crematoriums. No road system can handle that. That's too much. The recycling plant's got to be moved around a little bit, and the crematorium's got to be moved around. You want to use the diffuse and disperse strategy. You don't want to have everything concentrated in one spot, otherwise it's going to create bottlenecks. So maybe, I mean, I see it dropping down to 15, but it looked like it kind of stayed. Never mind. Let's just let this go. <laughs> I mean, every time I think it's at its lowest point, it just keeps on taking a few shots lower. What's your tax rate at? I see a lot of 9%. Whoa, you got everything maxed out on your budget. I see a lot of the tax rates at 9%. Normally 10 to 12 is good enough. It's got some beautiful cloud cover action going on. So there's like this elevated road system. Am I even going to be able to work on this? You know, because I don't have road anarchy and I try to do vanilla roads. Am I even going to be able to work on this? Maybe I'll delete the elevated roads. I wonder if that was done for design purposes. You do this for design purposes or you did it because you needed a bypass and you did an elevated bypass. Is your industry... Do you have... Um, it's generic industry. Okay, good job there. It's not specialized. That's good. I think that's good. So what, it gets down to 14 or 15? Is that right? Okay. All right, so um, let me load up the original game, just like we did with the first city, and we're going to solve it right from there. Um, I'm getting a big glitch again. I'm going to reload City Skylines. It gave me a big error. Sorry about that, everybody. Sometimes people use mods, and some of them can be kind of old, or there can be some incompatibility issues, and so it ca causes an issue. But that's okay. That's all right. We'll, we'll get it loaded up here. And so I want to do the same thing. I want to fix the traffic, and I want to fix the um, uh, fix the profitability <laughs> or lack thereof. All right. And one of the things I want to do is I want to connect the highway. You know, instead of having it just dead end into a roundabout, I want to actually connect the two highways together. So let's first spend a little bit of time on on that.
and then um, from there, you know, look to see about access into the city. I mean, it's not a big city, right? Twenty, what was it, twenty-six, twenty-seven thousand. So it doesn't need a whole lot of access, just like the other city, but that can really help us out, especially with the industrial area. It's a, the, the, the first city was pretty flat. This one's a lot hillier. All right, it's, it's loaded up fine now. So we're, we're, we're good. Let me pull it up on the screen here. All right, um, there you go. Oh, okay, there we go, it's just all black, black screen. Okay, so again, Mech and Bremen, right, 25,000, it's losing money. Uh, and again, uh, Bagel, good job. Bagel was playing with no despawning, so that's, that's wonderful, hard mode, I like it. And then this was the traffic, 52%. So the original save game starts at 52, and all it does is plummet once you hit play. So, we are going to fix it up. Um, so, you know, this highway, you know, goes underground, hits this roundabout, and just ends. And then a road continues over here. So, you know, we could bring this highway here, here, and then how do you, how do you get around this? This is a airport maybe bring it around the north side and hook it up right here so we can do that and then the only way to get into the city is through this right here and obviously nobody uses it right and then you come in through here oh this is pretty cool you got like these roundabouts and then you got these like clover leaf action to come into the bottom roads it's really neat this is really cool too. You got these little partial cloverleaf to get in. I see uh, traffic lights. And so this one dead ends into a, a, a nice size roundabout, but it's not, it's not working right. Is it set up correctly? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, you don't need the intersection signs right there, so that's good you don't have those. You got block the box set up? Nah. Yeah, so that's why it's not working correctly. You got lane connectors? Oh, yeah, that also won't help. So we got to delete those too. Okay, I'll come back to that. Let's work on the highway. Let's get the highway set up. Um, So let's try to get this highway going. Uh, people drive on the right side of the road here. Yeah. Okay. So we want the highway to kind of come over here and come down. like that something like that I think that's good and then this area does need a way to n needs a way to get in so um, you had a lot of circular roundabout so I'll do this and they can use that to kind of get in I mean it'd be nice to just put it right here rather than so far up. Hmm.
Right there. I think that'll be good. Need to flatten this. Ah, ha, ha. Flatten this out just a little bit. What's going on here? Yeah, like right... Let's do that. That's good. That'll give me a, good, a better baseline for the highway. Right. And the uh, connection is right. There you go. Oh, God, that's not what I wanted to build. It's a really ugly looking road right there. There we go. And then you can just go right here. Boom. That's why I put it up like that to give it space. I didn't want this intersection to be right next to the roundabout. I'm trying to plan ahead. Okay, so now this highway. Um. No. Need room for the frontage road. Come on. Where's the highway? It's not giving me the other road. That's fine. That looks good. It's not as precise as I'd normally like it, but we're doing it a little bit for time. And then we can bring it over here. Bring it here and then kind of connect right here. Right there. Not too bad. Not too bad. There. Ooh, God, it looks ugly. <laughs> uh, normally, you want to take your time and you know m make them a little, make them parallel, make them prettier. But this is just for sake of time. And man, this thing is right on a hill. We cannot put any kind of intersection there, can we? I could put one right here. Um, so one intersection right here, one intersection right here. Yeah, something like that. All the intersections you can get on the Steam Workshop, I made them. Um, so you can find, you look for In Your Face G or look for In Your Face G Highway Intersection. And I think they're the best highway intersections because they've got integrated frontage roads, integrated rail. And then, uh, like we saw in the previous city, uh, integrated paths. So they really help destroy traffic. Um, I think this is the right spot. Come on.
Okay. Give me a little bit of a softer turn, hopefully. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, okay. And then um, another one right here. What are these, uh, these underground roads go to uh, this. So there's like a makeshift intersection right down there to help with getting into the industrial area. Hmm. I'll leave it for the time being. I don't think it's going to be needed. Kind of want to put something like this right here. Something like that. That'll be really good. Yeah, it is pretty steep. That may be the wrong way to do it. I think that's the wrong way to do it. I think I've got to do that. Okay. there. And I know it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for me, but I want to see if I can fix it without this underground, uh, more confusing intersection here. There we go. Okay. All right, let's hook these up. Sweet. Nice. Nice. That's going to look really good. That's more of the... Yeah, there we go. Um, so it's, it's a little bit of an incline right there. I think these can almost go straight. Yeah, really close to it. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. That's not too bad at all. Okay. Off ramp. On ramp. On ramp. Off ramp. That's good. Off ramp. Ooh, that's ugly. <laughs> Off ramp, on ramp, and then this one we can use frontage roads. Oh, well, there's a good amount of people watching. Hello, everybody. Welcome. City skyline, submitted city, traffic fix, and city fix. We already fixed one city. Already fixed one city. Took it from 11 to 86%. Come on. Yeah, great. Okay, there's the one frontage road. Excellent. And then, you know, I want to use the frontage road, and I think that will be the trick to give another way in for the industry. No, it won't. <laughs> no, it won't. This thing is way too steep. That's way too steep. Why did the industry get such a beautiful area? You want to put the industry over here. Not by beautiful, you know, waterfront property. Um, man, you know, it'd be really nice to get the frontage road. I guess... Um... So, here's the off-ramp.
What the? Well, that's the on ramp. Um, and here's the off ramp. Um, and then this one can just be an on ramp, and then the frontage road can be just for this portion, I think. Hmm. Like that? I think that's actually pretty good. And then you can do the off ramp right there. And it shouldn't be too bad. I think we can connect this up. I think this is going to be really effective. There. So another way into the industry to alleviate the burden from right here. Uh, yeah, yeah, hi. How are you doing, Twistees? How have you been? Um, and so we can hook this up. Perfect. Uh, excellent, we're good. We're good. We just need... Um, we need another way onto the highway from right here. Yeah, how are you doing? Are you still playing Fortnite? What the? Hmm. I was hoping to get a better angle. But I can't. Oh well. Okay. I'll have to do. I am doing well. Thank you for asking. Yeah, the work has been good. Uh, the channel has grown, so uh, very positive, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, th that part is all good. We'll hook this up. I'm going to hit play here momentarily. But before we do, garbage production is 182, processing is 420. There's too much, and it's all in one place. So we have to delete most of it, and then we have to move a lot of it. So there's no garbage collection over here, but you got these nice spots right here, Bagel. So that's one, one spot. You got any, and you don't have any trash pickup over here? Oh, wait. You do, is over here. Okay. Um, we can do like right here. What is this? Police helicopter depot? Okay. You can put that like right here. Okay. So that's a little bit better. And then what about dead people? <laughs> um, oh, you don't play Fortnite anymore? Oh, okay. The new season has been really fun, especially with, uh, you can choose whether you want to play, uh, uh, with the build mode or not. So, yeah, you got cemeteries and everything. So, what we can do is we can actually, this area doesn't have hardly any traffic so we'll empty those cemeteries so we can destroy them we'll leave the crematoriums here to pick up those and then we're gonna destroy these there's three over here and so we'll take two of them and move them they actually make people happy <laughs> when you put them next to the homes believe it or not um, 
Put another one like right around here or something. And then let's take this and move it a little bit farther in. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. That'll have a big impact and people hit this roundabout, right? And it's not set up, so let's go ahead and set it up. When you're on the roundabout, you can block the box. On the roundabout block. On the roundabout block. On the roundabout block the box. And where does this underground road go? What? That is not needed. Okay, so that's good there. And so people hit this roundabout. They come over here, come over here. They're all trying to go straight. Then they move into the middle lane. That's to go straight. Oh, this cargo train terminal. That should be straight. Right turn only. Okay. And is this to go straight? Yeah, right turn only. That's why they're stuck in one lane. It's not a dedicated turning lane. Okay, that'll be good there. Um, and then these people want to take a left, and they're stuck behind the people that want to go straight. There you go. You got lights here? Yeah, let's remove that. Remove this. Alright. I think we made enough changes, right? Let's go ahead and hit play. No despawning. Lights. Lights, 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 lights. Turn off. Turn off. That's what was holding a lot of this up. Lights. And okay, that's the way to get out. They're trying to take a left. That's fine. Light. Left turn only. So the people, uh, some of them are being forced to move there because they haven't had a chance to adjust, but now they're adjusting. And you can see the majority of them wanted to go straight and they were stuck behind everybody that wanted to take a left. Okay, let's keep on going. Right turn only. And they're stuck in this one. Um, so these roads should be... Here's where we have to use the skinny four-lane road, which is from Vanilla Plus. Um, these roads are too small. So, left turn only, if you don't mind. What is this game? This game is called City Skylines. It is the best city building game. You start a city from scratch. You build out where you want homes, shops, industry, offices, the roads, the schools, the hospitals, water, electrical. It's got amazing graphics, and it has phenomenal traffic simulation. And so this is someone else's city, and they needed help, and so I'm fixing it. That was a traffic light I just removed. Traffic light removed. Traffic light removed. <laughs> uh, yeah, these guys were just waiting. Waiting for the traffic light to turn green. Uh, remember this roundabout was clogged up? Remember this road was clogged up? Left turn only. What is this? Left turn only. Sorry about all the camera rotating. Left turn only. You guys are stuck behind. Pause. They're taking a right. They're going straight. They're going straight and they are stuck because it's a two lane road upgrading it to a four lane road when you build you want to build with four lane roads so you can expand and uh, 
That way you can use a vanilla road rather than what I'm doing, a vanilla plus road, because I do not want to destroy the zoning. It must take a lot of time to build a city. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess. I guess. It's, it's such a fun game. I mean, like any game that's really fun, the time will fly. This is a left turn only? Left turn only? And these people are stuck over here. Is this a light? Yeah, remove the light. Uh, this is not a real intersection. You can block the box. So, I mean, you can spend as much time as you want on it. You know, you can build a city super fast. But I think a lot of people... Uh, or you can, you know, take your time. Uh, right? I, I, I think uh, the city... I think it does take a while to build the city. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Where are we at? Here we go. 49%. So, much better than where where is the city when you run it for a while? 15? 15%? 14% is where it bottomed out at? You haven't played Skylines in like five years or so. Everything here looks pretty new style from the version I used to play. Well, um... Uh, there's a mod called Daylight Classic. If you turn that on, it makes the cities look prettier. So, um, pause. Let me take a look around. This guy doesn't have water. So, I don't know if they've done a lot of graphical updates to yes Photo. But um, if you do that mod, it'll make things better. So we have some traffic here. And uh, some of it is because of traffic lights. So let me remove those. Uh, you really don't want to build with traffic lights. So I'm doing that. That's going to help. But what are you guys stopping down here for? Oh. There's an intersection underneath that road. Okay. So you guys are waiting here on the left lane because that can go straight and left. So we'll do that left turn only lane so the people that want to go straight can bust out. This roundabout, I don't know if it operates properly or not. Maybe. Okay, and then there's another one right here, so left turn only, right turn only, dedicated turning lanes, that'll help. Same thing here, left turn only, left turn only, uh, that's the big problem right here. Left turn only, he hello, there we go, and then these roads are the just two lane roads, so we want to make them four. That'll help out. Okay. So, um, it was kind of backed up right from here because of the roundabout, so let's hit play. Let, let's hit play. So we should see cars busting out into the middle. Looks like they're busting into the left lane. They're taking a long time. I can see that there's a lot of people walking underneath. That's going to slow down a lot of the traffic. And we can't build a path because there's this highway above it. You might have to download it again to start over. It's a great game. I love it, TS Photo. I would recommend it. Yeah, it's taken a l too long of a time. Pause. Um, so, I think it's best not to do these 
these highways that are built on top of everything because it limits what you can do with the roads underneath. Like in terms of paths and things like that. Um, I don't know, is it going to even let me upgrade this? Okay, made it from two to four lane. What about right here? Two to four lane. Um, <clears throat> this intersection is too close to this roundabout. Frankly. Um, let's uh, make sure this roundabout is set up correctly. I don't think it is. It's kind of hard to tell. If you're on the roundabout, block the box. Are there lights here? No. Uh, you do have lane connectors. Uh, yeah, I, I noticed that before. But not on this roundabout, so deleting those. All right. See if that makes any improvement. And the only other one will be to tell people to not walk right over here. Have them cross the street. So that, that, that may be a, a solution. We'll give it a little bit of time to kind of run. Yeah, that looks good. Make that a left turn only lane. Make that a left turn only lane. Oh, this place is on fire. Oh, the... Okay. Fire truck is already there. All right. Um, I assume there's a light right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And these people come straight, and then they hit this. Left turn only. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty intense. Right turn only. Okay, that roundabout was messed up. It's done. How are we doing? 65%. Got some issues right here. Skinny roads need to be two to four. You got really good, a lot of people walking in your street, so that's good. So light right here. See how it's holding up all those cars when they don't need to be held up? There we go. Yep, another light right here. Great. You know, so many people want to take a right. I'm going to do this. The right two lanes take a right. The left lane goes straight and left to help them out. Where are you guys? Is the middle lane turns left to? Yeah, there we go. I'll fix that up. All these people want to take a left. Oh, you're waiting on a light?
This one is left turn only. So it's... I want to say it's getting there, but... Very slowly. Very slowly. Anybody using this? Barely. Yeah. A little bit. I mean, it's starting to move a little bit, but we got a ways to go. It's not really intersection. You guys can block the box. Yeah, that looks good. Nobody wants to take a right, so how about make it like that? Just tinkering with the lane, lane arrows, you know, the lane directions, just tinkering with those. You gotta, you gotta find the right spots where, based on where people are moving. There's a light right here, and that's what's causing that. And when you, when you get that right setup with the correct dedicated turning lanes, then things start to flow better. Um, let's upgrade this to two to four. There we go. There we go. Right turn only. Sixty five. Yeah, that's good. I set this up before. That's good. You guys are waiting on all this to get to the industrial area. Um, is there a better way to get there? Are there no buses running? Uh, very good question. Um, I haven't looked at the mass transit yet. Uh, so TS Photography has asked if there's any buses running. It's a great question. So I, I haven't looked at the mass transit yet. I will, though. I will, though, here momentarily. I just I'm trying to make sure I, I get the road system as tuned as possible, or at least where I'm kind of, um, you know, looking to see how the city runs. So I can, I can kind of address some of those issues. So now we're starting to see a little bit backup for the queue, because there is no queue. And so this, uh, this place does need a queue. And let's go ahead and create that now. You always want to create a queue for your cargo train terminal. Um... You know, this is a good entrance for it, but there's no room. Wait, is this... a firehouse right here? Um, it'd be better to put it over here where there's not as much traffic. What is this? A medical clinic? Yeah, it's kind of on a very busy road. What's this? A police station. Oh! Okay, yeah, that's definitely... That definitely would have an impact. Okay, so... Can we... Why can't I put a road there? That's weird. That's where it was before. Oh, huh. How odd. Hmm. 
Come here. This is just temporary. It's just temporary to give me some more room. Should work. That should allow me to fit it in there. Yeah, n not too far off from where it was before, isn't it? There. You gotta make sure that the rail lines are good. So that should help out. So if you want to enter the queue. There you go. There you go. That should help. And then I remove some of those other items on this road to help with the traffic flow. Dedicated turning lanes. Do dedicated turning lanes there. Okay. Uh, this could be a good spot for a roundabout, frankly. You're not going to be able to put one in there until this is empty. This is a bad place for a cemetery. W way too much traffic right here. Right next to a roundabout. Yeah, none of these cars are going to be able to get out. <laughs> none of those cars are going to be able to get out. For some reason, they all want to come this way. They don't want to hit this roundabout to move this way. I could force it. I could, like, just delete this road for the time being. Hey, I think things are starting to look good. Yeah. Look at that. We got some stuff going on right here, two to four. So I think we're at the point, uh, TS Photo. We can take a look at the mass transit now. We can let this run. This looks like it's in pretty good shape. All right. There are There is a bus line. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's only one bus line just for that area? So you're telling me that where all the traffic is and where the majority of the people live, there isn't? So, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, Bagel, were you, was that like the plan, but you never got to it? Or did you have it there and you deleted it? I mean, you at least want to put that in to see if that helps the traffic. You at least try it. So, um, you know, you want to you wanna try to at least do some of those things to see if that will have an impact. Um, okay, where's the metro system? Oh, it's just a train line. Oh, it's not a metro. Yeah, I clicked on the wrong... Wait a minute. There's a metro line right here. What? 
That is totally not even necessary. They're so close together, they'll walk. What? Yeah, so the, the mass transit in the city is not set up to help the traffic out. Alright, so we're, we're gonna do... You know what, what this should be? Come on. We're gonna do a mass transit system here really quick. Th that, that is pointless. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna delete that. Yep. And we're gonna delete this as well. Um... I'm going to just build it really, really fast. Okay, one, two. Um, three. No. I want it over here. Like right here, yeah, that's a good spot, right here. Let's move you over. Yeah, three. Um, I need to have one spot like right around here. What's over here? Like residential, cemetery. Oh, there's office space right here. How's that? Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. I think that's good for the time being. All right. So now we're just going to hook this up. sharper than I wanted, but it will work. There. So, one, two, three, four, Five, and then on the way back. And that should be it for the city. Let's let that run. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. City Skyline submitted city traffic fix and city fix. We are close. This is our second city. Second city. We are very close. We're at 72% from 14 with no despawning. City's still losing money. I'll work on that here momentarily. Let's let that run a little bit. And yep, there's our queue. It's just not big enough. Let's take a look at the import-export. Why are you importing so much agriculture? That's a lot of agriculture being imported. Uh, 
don't see any issues. I've noticed like nobody uses the highway. <laughs> I mean, there isn't a highway, frankly. You know, the highway hits this side, but the city is like put in this one spot. Um, is this the edge of the map too? Not really. Um, you know, in hindsight, well, this is kind of right at the edge. It'd be nice to have that highway come down and maybe like around and up. It's just, it's just a difficult positioning for the city. You know, it'd be nice if there was a highway that went right down next to it to help out with the traffic, but there is not. Let's take a look at the speed limits. Let's work on them here. Uh, let's do 45 for those. It's a pretty big road. 45 for those. Let's do 30 for the smaller ones. That's good. Yeah. So the highways are set at. Speed up the highways a little bit. Frontage roads. Let's get those set up properly. There. See if that helps out. I'm going to have to destroy some of this industry. The, there's um, not enough room for the queue. Holy moly, look at all this train traffic. Because that's the passenger trains as well as the cargo train line. That's why. Oh, look at that. They're nice and stuck. Yay. How lovely. Um, so that, I think the traffic is getting worse. Yeah. Because of the queue. And there's no room because it's sandwiched in there. All right, so we have to do some updates. Um, the industry ne should be next to a highway, so it needs to be right here. Uh, let's let's update that right now. So I'm just I'm gonna have to shift a little bit of the industry. I'm gonna have to shift a little bit of the industry. I don't think I really did that very well. I'm doing it primarily for time. So I'm just shifting a little bit of the industry because I need to put in a queue, a bigger queue. Because the, the queue is going to have to like come all the way over here and back. And there's no room. So you enter the queue from there. God, it's terrible. Okay. That gives him more space. And what about this bridge right here? Where do you connect that thing to? Well, 
Why don't I have people come down underneath this thing? Can I do that? Instead of having them come over, I wanted to have them come under. That's some middle school right here. Move you over a little bit. And then... Um, what's this? Elementary? Can you move underneath this? Sweet! There. Rather than coming over, because I don't even think this is possible. I'm just going to do this since... I'm just kind of curious. You can actually get over? Wow. It's just too tight. Wait a minute. There. Okay, now they have two ways to get in. Play. This is the way to get to the queue. Is there a light here? No. Wow. I don't know what you can do about the traffic on the trains. It's going to start backing up from all over the place. Like they're just kind of stuck. Wow. It's, I mean, it's def this one is very challenging. Alright. How's our metro system? There's definitely some people using it. Beef it up by one more vehicle. There's people using it, but not a whole lot. I mean, I think this passenger train terminal, I think it'd be better to, like, put it over here or something. Get it out of the way of this line with the cargo train terminals. Or the cargo train terminal. I, I may do that. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh, yeah, this one needs to be a four-lane road. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at the highway, how nobody uses the highway here. That, that intersection is overkill. I'm looking. And they come there and they come down. Yeah, it's good that we kind of built that connection, but frankly, hardly anybody uses it, really. Hardly anybody uses it to get over here. Oh, 
I, I think we're, we're actually good. Is there a, some kind of issue right here? No. Okay. I think, I think that may be it. No? Okay. No, not yet. Um, lights. Yeah. Remove these lights right here. That's holding everybody up. Dedicated turning plane. A lot of people walking, so, um, left turn only. Oh, yeah, that's already set up. Right turn only. Left turn only. Great walkability in the city, but there should be paths across most of the, uh, the intersections. And with the elevated roads, it would be hard to do that. You can make them underground. I think that's good. All right, let's work on profitability really quick. Yeah. Oh my god, electricity production 2979, you only need 354. What the? All these things got built out already? Jeez. That was a little bit faster than I'd anticipated. that industrial area. You guys got electricity? You do. Alrighty. Um, yeah, there's like that dam over there. Yeah, so we can delete a few of these. can reduce this to a hundred okay what about water where are you at on water six 1.3 million on the pumping capacity where's your water pumps at oh no that's uh where's your water pumps at oh they're right they're right next to it. Okay. I'm looking at the number, seeing it adjust. I'm gonna reduce it down to a hundred. Okay. Seven hundred twenty thousand. Okay. Delete a few more. There we go. Really close. Um, and then there's the trash pickup. Let's take a look at that. Uh, it's pretty close. So we can reduce that down to 100. And then the tax rate was a little bit on the low side. We can just bump it up one. As a challenging city with the industry and the cargo train terminal and just the space. And then the roads kind of being double-decker. I think that's good. That's emptied out. That one is still emptying. Those are our cemeteries. 
and then waiting on this one to empty so we can destroy that. Move that over here. Recycling plant. I think that's great. Where else is it red? Here, traffic lights. Okay. There's traffic lights here too. That was, a, that was a big solution to the city, or one of the big solutions is getting rid of the traffic lights. Yeah, that's, that road is upgraded. You know what? I I did I did make one error here. What's your unemployment rate? Nine percent. I did make one error. Um, some of that industry should actually be office. So some of that is a little bit overkill. So I I did mess a little bit of that up. Here. And the reason why I say that is because I'm looking here, import, export. It's exporting way too many goods. So there's way too many goods being used. Do you have fertile land anywhere? You got fertile land down here. You know, it's like importing a lot of agricultural products. You know what? Agriculture. Just to try to reduce a little bit of the importing. That's going to destroy all that. I think that's good. Where else do we have traffic? Left turn only. You guys are stuck right here because there's a light. Left turn only. Any place else that's super busy. Light. That should be left turn only. And then this road should be upgraded two to four. Okay. We go over to this side. Everybody's okay over here. I don't see any problems. 75% though. A 
finally, just a few more vehicles being used. Or uh, a little bit more on the highway being used. That's good. All right, the train terminal seems to be working better. Trains aren't as clogged as they were before. I see everything moving. I think we're done and we're profitable. Oh man, look at that. Right on, 600 people per week using it. All right, so it's a successful mass transit system. Very good. Is there a light here? What are you guys waiting on? What are you waiting on what we're here for? Oh, that's why. Yep, you don't need the intersection signs. You know, I wonder if there's some more elsewhere. Left turn only. I think that's good. I'm looking around to see where, you know, I just see cars stopped. The nice thing is the city is pretty dense, so that's a very, that's good for walkability. You can almost walk from one side of the city to the other. Upgrading two to four. There's lights. Kind of like the same thing every time, right? And if that doesn't get the city up to close to 80, then I may do some more paths where it's a lot busier. Doesn't seem like I need to right now, though. Um, this was a really a trial. I wanted to see if I put the farmland here, if it would decrease the amount of imports or not. Uh, I think I was wrong. I think I actually have to put it right down here where there's this fertile land indicated. I think that's what I have to do. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Uh, I don't think that'll work. Okay, let's pause here. What do we got? Let's set up properly. Set up properly. Uh, there's just people walking and it's blocking uh, the traffic here. We're making money now. We can use a little bit of a fancier road. Can't go over to the other side, can you? Nope. Yeah, definitely for everybody watching, don't don't do the double decker roads like that. Definitely limit some opportunities in the city. There we go. What 
the... Why can't you go down? That's weird. Can you go down this way? Okay, that's good. Alright, so we put in some elevated paths, and so we can tell them not to walk just in that one spot. You know, if you could cross over, you could tell them not to walk in all four, uh, four parts. So limiting, very limiting. So there's a lot of people walking um, in that intersection. Yeah, and that's why that's why they can't cross because people keep on um, hitting the intersection. I guess you could go underground. It's aesthetically so much better to have it above. Let's just see where else we can make some minor updates. And I think that'll be, that'll be good. Yeah, that looks good. How's the import-export? Is it getting worse or better? Uh, let me take a look at the elementary school availability, high school availability, university. Interesting, okay. A lot more people using that road. The population has grown a little bit. There's a need for commercial. Okay. What's the speed limit on this? guys can book it. Go for it. I mean, it's... I mean, it's flowing everywhere. Oh, you got lights on your roundabout? There was one light on the roundabout. There's some additional tinkering. Dedicated turning lanes. Upgrading two to four. Why are they waiting? Is there an intersect? Oh, yeah, there we go. Let me just look around for any more of those intersection signs. It's costing us a few, maybe costing us a percent in traffic. Don't see them anywhere. Except where traffic slows down. <laughs> seeing them. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and take care of these.
All right. How are we doing on import export? Okay, the importing is kind of going down now. Oh yeah, let me uh, put in uh, elevated paths right here. I'm just going to keep on tinkering with it, see how high I can get this. I don't want to make the stream too long. There we go. Tell him to use the elevated crosswalks rather than the ground ones to try to help. Left turn only. Where are you guys going, by the way? You guys going straight? Because you can't use a highway? I wonder if I could make a little... thing right here, if that would help them at all. I didn't do a regular road right there. There. It's too very close to the roundabout, but just to give them better access to and from the highway. Possibly. See if that helps. using this at all? Let me destroy this one. That was pretty close to the roundabout. Where are we at? waiting there. Light? And this is super busy. I don't see any lights. I do see people walking. Let's go ahead and create some paths to help out. Hopefully, we are s close. Hopefully, this will get us close to uh, 80. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of people walking right there. Please use the elevated crosswalks. Okay. Yeah, I'm just seeing that it's super red, so I wanted to try to help it out.
think that's good. Come on, get to 80. Get to 80 so I can call it. So close. Come on. Dang it. <laughs> I mean, there's there's nothing. It's all flowing nicely. There's no real issues. Some lights right here. It's just... I mean, lights do cost you about a percent. So maybe that can get me that extra percent that I need. I'm looking around for any more. Oh, God. Come on. Everything seems to be flowing nicely. Is it a two-lane road right here? What do you got? No. There we go. That'll help out. Left turn only. Right turn only. Right turn only. Some people walking right here. Right turn only. Man, we're so close. I just want to see if I can get it to 80. I think that we could have gotten to 80, but um, doing a few more paths and being obstructed by some of the double-decker roads, I think that, because I think it's super close, because there's not really any backup or gridlock anywhere. Yes! I'm done. Oh, dang it! <laughs> oh, man. It, it hit it there for a brief moment. For a brief moment. These guys, what are you waiting on? Yeah, I just don't see anything. Oh yeah, there's some stuff going on up here. Yeah, because there's a light. There you go. Actually, a lot of you are trying to take a left, so how about that? About that. There. I don't notice anything. It's fine. I'm just busy there for a moment. There's a lot more... Um, I just made this really quick. Just to try to see if, if it would help with the importing. And it did not. It did not, actually. I, it did not reduce the importing, it expanded the importing. So I think that it would be better to put the farmland stuff right over here. So I, I wanted to do that as a little bit of an experiment to see if it would have, a, have an impact. 
have a positive impact, I should say. And it, it, it did not. <laughs> Alright, so let me uh, let me do that right here. Pause. Fertile land. Because that's... That would really help with the traffic. That would really help with the traffic. Let me see what I can do. So, like, right... I mean, that area right there, that should be... That's where I should have... The farmland, and I, I put it in the wrong place. Or my, my experiment... Um, uh, here we go. And that can be something else in the future. And, here you go, farmland. Bam. So, by putting agriculture here where there is not the fertile land, it did not create any help to the import-export. It just increased the importing. Oh, no problem. No problem, TS. No problem. Welcome back. Uh, we're so close. I mean, I got to 80% briefly, and then it dropped back down. So we're almost done. I, um, I, just trying to get it to 80, and then I'm, I'm going to stop, actually. And then this uh, Briarwood Heights, I'm removing. So that's a good experiment. So for everybody that wants to know, like, will they actually reduce import-export and create locally sourced farming agricultural products if you don't put it where there's fertile area? They will not. They will not. Oh, you're at work right now? Neat. Well, thanks for having it in the background. So this should actually reduce the import-export. There's a light here. How is it possible that there's still lights? I feel like I've turned off a thousand. Just looking around, seeing if there's any lights around here. There's not. Is this emptied out? This is still not emptied out. Wow. Super close. I mean, where is there a lot of traffic? Uh, walk backwards fast. What's up, buddy? How are you? I mean, I think the city's fixed, so I, I think it looks fine. I think it looks great compared to what it was before, but um, just wanted to see if I could get it to 80% on the traffic flow. Is this a. This should be a left turn only lane right here. There's a lot of people walking there too. It's gonna slow them down. And I won't be able to make a path because of this uh, elevated road. 
And, uh, of course, there's a cemetery right there. Oh, this looks like a light. That cost me the 80 right there. What? What are you guys waiting on? Hold on. Buddy. Buddy, are you glitched? What the... I think they froze there. For, oh. Is there something else here? <gasps> Jeez Louise. You don't let them change lanes ever. You work graphic design, so you're on the computer all day? That's cool. How long have you been doing that? Wow, that's a lot of lane connectors. You don't need those. What is going on here? Something's up with this road. Can you guys just go? They're super slow, right there. <gasps> oh my god! Pause. Yes! Oh man, 17 years! Good job, good job. You were 20 years in the Air Force? Oh wow, that's great. You're not an old man, that's fine. You've got wisdom, you've got experience, that's all very positive. Um, more bus stops on those busy roads. That's a great question. I actually would say no. Uh, normally bus stops have more negative impacts because it creates the buses slow down the traffic and then it makes uh, a huge rush of people crossing the street. So in this city, I would not suggest that because already it's too hard to build elevated paths because of the double-decker roads and that's already slowing down the traffic too much. So it would be better to do uh, more mass transit and more elevated paths, and uh, meaning mass transit as in subway, a subway. Better to just keep on building out the subway system. How are we doing on the import-export? Okay, now it's finally going down. We are done. We are done. I wanted to get us to 80 with a profitable city. We're there. Um, so, let's summarize what we did. Uh, first of all, there is no despawning. And the city bottomed out at 14%. We are at 80. Obviously, it's very consistent in terms of being 77, 78, 79, and then it hits 80 periodically. But it could hit 80 some more with more of the agricultural being built right here. As that fills out, it will reduce the import of the agricultural products and that will reduce the traffic. Um, let's talk about what we did to fix it and then uh, we can talk about next steps. So, uh, the city did not have a highway that went from, call it connecting from this highway on the southeast side to this highway on the central, central area. So we did that and uh, the highway is just dead-ended into roundabouts, so now it's actually a highway that flows through. And then you can exit off um, if you want to or get on if you want to. So that was one big piece. Another big piece is there's lights everywhere. Everywhere. And those were costing several percentage points in traffic flow, so we removed those. Uh, so TS Photography is asking what exactly is no despawning. This is a wonderful question. So the game by default, the game by default runs with despawning on. And what that means is when the game detects a little bit too much traffic, it will delete cars on its own. So the cars are despawned. They are removed. And so it helps reduce traffic jams. And so that's how the regular game runs, right? The game does an amazing job of simulating traffic and it's very easy to get a city 
clogged up with traffic. And so the game by default, normal setting, it will actually delete cars. And that helps with traffic flow. Um, so when you use Traffic Manager President Edition, you can actually turn it off. And that means that it's not gonna despawn cars. And so it makes it much harder. It makes it a much more accurate simulation and it creates bigger traffic jams. And so if you have a city with traffic flow that's decent, like 50, 60, 70%, and you have despawning on, um, I mean, that's fine, that's a decent city, but to really know if your city is laid out well, if you've got uh, your road set up the right way, if you've got real good traffic flow, you wanna turn off despawning and see what happens. And so normally a city that has 50%, 60% traffic flow with despawning on, it'll go down to 10 to 20% with no despawning. It absolutely destroys traffic. So uh, I think that when you watch my traffic fixes, I think that it will really help with uh, how to fix the city, uh, how to get good traffic flow, and how to do it even with despawning turned off. So that if you did want to do these tips with despawning turned on, your city would just, it would have amazing traffic flow, but 80% is already excellent. 80% is actually great traffic flow. Um, so that's, that's what it is. Thank you, TS Photography. Thanks for asking. So all of my city fixes have despawning turned off. Uh, I've done uh, many of these already. Uh, live streams are on YouTube, Twitch, DLive, and Twitter simultaneously. Previous videos are on YouTube, and so this one will be available for replay on YouTube, along with many others. There's a playlist for submitted city traffic fixes and city fixes. Um, so there was a boatload of lights, removing many of those, maybe all of them, but I'm sure there's a few that I missed. And then dedicated turning lanes, right turn only lanes, left turn only lanes, going straight only lanes. So dedicated directions. Um, the uh, cargo train terminal, uh, it did not have a big enough queue. Um, some of the roundabouts needed to be updated. Um, I think those were the main main things there was a couple of there's a lot of walkability and so creating some elevated paths as i could uh, and uh yeah uh, oh uh, and then of course profitability uh we updated a little bit of the tax rate um just a slight change and then made some modifications with some excess services and there's still a lot of excess yeah 2320 uh, yeah there's some excess so uh, basically the city can grow and build out, um, you know, there's demand. So, you know, putting some residential right here, some commercial right here. Um, keep in mind, commercial should be placed next to residential. So technically this stuff, this should be commercial. That, cause um, industry builds goods creates goods and those are sold in the commercial areas. So one of the reasons for the traffic issues is, um, you know, it, it does have to drive a decent distance to drop off the goods, but a little bit of commercial would be great just right up here. That would remove the, uh, some of the traffic. Um, and, um, yeah, so that would help out. Uh, so, that would be one of the next steps is to a little bit of updating on the zoning. I wanted to try to fix the city without doing too much destruction to the original city. Um, so I've kept the, the city primarily looking the way that it did before. A little bit of updates to the industry so I could do the, um, uh, the queue. And then, of course, this was a little bit of an experiment, but I think this will play out. Uh, it was importing a lot of agricultural. That should reduce the imports. And so that will help improve the revenue for the city and reduce the traffic flow. And then those can be sold in these commercial areas right down here. So next step is just to build out the city a little bit. Um, and then of course, as it builds out, make sure that there's some subway stations here. I would not use the buses. And then simultaneously, I would not use these elevated roads anymore. In fact, I would destroy the elevated roads and put some elevated paths across the intersections. Um, but we've got a profitable city and we've got over 80% traffic flow. 
with no despawning. And we did two city fixes in one stream. So uh, if you have not done so already, please smash that like button. You can dislike the video if you didn't like it, but hopefully you enjoyed the traffic fix and the city fix. Um, for both of the cities, again, Biggie Bagel, thank you for uploading this. I hope, um, yeah, I, I, I hope you get to see this and I hope you, uh, it, hope it helps you out with uh, what to do for your city. So uh, I enjoyed working on it. Uh, but thank you, everybody. And please, of course, if you have not done so, smash that subscriber follow button. Uh, TS Photography, it was great to have you. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and hopefully I'll catch you uh, in the future. And then thank you, everybody. Uh, catch you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Uh, thanks, T.S. Cheers to you as well.